Hello viewers, so welcome to my channel. I'm Hashem Ali Khan. So now I'm continuing the 11th problem on life insurance company accounts. So far 10 problems have completed in the last videos regarding how to make the final accounts of life insurance companies, example revenue account and balance sheet. Already I've explained you in detail regarding the schedules, totally 14 schedules I've explained. First four schedules will be in the revenue account, remaining schedules in the balance sheet. So if you join now, you may not be able to understand. So I suggest you to watch from beginning. So if you have not watched the earlier videos, go to the playlist of my channel. Select the subject corporate accounting. Select the topic life insurance company accounts. Watch the first video. You can be able to understand the meaning of different terms which are used in life insurance company. Like what is premium, what are claims, what is consideration of annuities granted, what are annuities, what are surrenders, what is bonus. All these things you can be able to understand the main concepts that I've explained in the very first video. Then starting videos are very very important because you can be able to know how to find out, how to prepare the revenue account and balance sheet. So, uh, before starting the 11th problem, I expect my viewers to have the printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. So take a printout and keep it ready. Now I am reading out the 11th problem. The following trial balance was extracted from the books of Safe Life Assurance Company Limited. The trial balance is given debit balances and credit balances. Then prepare revenue account for the year ended and balance sheet as on the date after taking into account the following. All figures in thousands. So adjustments 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We are given the trial balance and we are given 6 adjustments. The trial balance items will appear only once either in revenue account or in balance sheet. But adjustment items will have double effect. Once in revenue account, again that item will appear in the balance sheet. So I am explaining each and every point. So at the time of listening this lecture, Keep a pencil pen beside you and write down the number there itself in which schedule each item will come. I am explaining now. Claims by death, fourth schedule. Claims by maturity, fourth schedule. Claims paid, benefits paid. Expenses of management, four, uh, third schedule. Operating expenses. Schedule number three, operating expenses. Then commission to agents, schedule number two. Then income tax on profits. This income tax on profits will be taken below operating expenses. In this commission operating expenses, below that we will take provision for taxation. Surrenders, fourth schedule. Annuity is paid, fourth schedule. Bonus in cash, fourth schedule. Bonus in reduction of premium, fourth schedule. Preliminary expenses. Now preliminary expenses can be deducted either from the capital or it can be deducted from reserves and surplus. So I will deduct it from capital. Then Port Trust Debentures Investments, 8th Schedule. Government Securities, same, 8th Schedule Investments. Loans on Government Securities, that is loans, 9th Schedule. Loans on Company Policies, same, 9th Schedule. Then Building at Cost, Building is a fixed asset, 10th Schedule. It is given building at cost 9 lakh including 50,000 added during the year. That means at the beginning of the year building was 8 lakh 50,000. During the year 50,000 more was added. So now the total will be 9 lakh rupees at the end of the year. Life assurance fund at the beginning of the year. Schedule number 6. Premium received. Schedule number 1. Then consideration for annuities granted. Other income. In revenue account, we will take consideration for annuities granted other income. There is no schedule. Interest, dividend and rent. This is income from investment. No schedule. Directly we will take interest, dividend and rent. Gross. Then annuities. Outstanding annuities. See, only annuities paid. If it is given, that will be taken in schedule number 4. Benefits paid. Annuities paid will be taken in schedule number 4 whereas annuity outstanding is a liability so this outstanding annuity is given in the trial balance it will appear only once it will be taken in schedule number 13 current liabilities 
then capital schedule number five then building depreciation account this is accumulated depreciation on building the building accumulated depreciation one lakh this will be deducted from building in schedule number 10 schedule number 10 fixed assets building 9 lakh less accumulated depreciation 1 lakh outer column 8 lakh that is the presentation so i have explained you all the items of the trial balance where every item will appear now adjustment first adjustment claims by death covered under reinsurance 20000 claims by death covered under reinsurance so twice it will have the effect claims covered under reinsurance this will be deducted from claims in schedule number four schedule number four claims paid minus claims covered under reinsurance 20,000 we deduct the so once over now claims covered under reinsurance will be taken in schedule number 12 current assets will be taken under schedule number 12 you can see here schedule number 12 due from other insurers claims covered under reinsurance 20,000 the so once 20,000 is deducted here where is that here claims covered under reinsurance 20,000 is deducted from claims paid again that 20,000 should be taken in schedule number 12 claims covered under reinsurance so twice over second and further claims by death intimated 15,000 further claims by death intimated intimated means outstanding claims the outstanding claim is given in adjustments twice for this outstanding claim will be added to claims in schedule number four in schedule number four here you can see add outstanding claim 15,000 that 15,000 I have added outstanding claim this 15,000 outstanding claim again should be taken in the balance sheet schedule number 13 current liability this is schedule number 13 current liability due to no outstanding claims 15,000 outstanding claims 15,000 double effect or now third further bonus utilized in reduction of premium 20,000 this is a peculiar adjustment peculiar in the sense both the effects will be given in revenue account only normally adjustment items will have two effects one in revenue account the other effect in balance sheet but this further bonus utilized in reduction of premium is a peculiar adjustment where both the effects will be given in revenue account it will not have any effect in the balance sheet so what are the double effect in revenue account first further bonus utilized in reduction of premium given in the adjustment will be added to premium in schedule number one schedule number one premium so in premium received what you can see here further bonus utilized in reduction of premium 2000 further bonus utilized in reduction of premium 2000 this 2000 is given in adjustment now one effect over it is added to premium second effect is this further bonus utilized in reduction of premium will be added to bonus in reduction of premium in schedule number four schedule number four benefits paid here last one you can see bonus in reduction of premium already 3000 is given in the trial balance in the trial balance 3000 rupees bonus in reduction of premium that is given 3000 apart from that in adjustment it is given further bonus utilized in reduction of premium 2000 this 2000 I have added 3000 plus 2000 5000 so double effect over one effect further bonus utilized in reduction of premium is added to premium second effect further bonus utilized in reduction of premium is added to bonus in reduction of premium added to bonus in reduction of premium in schedule number four that's it next one is premium outstanding 30,000 premium outstanding 30,000 this will appear twice outstanding premium will be added to premium this is premium outstanding premium here we have added 30,000 see 30,000 rupees outstanding premium added again this outstanding premium 30,000 will be taken in schedule number 12 schedule number 12 here 
outstanding premium outstanding 30,000 double effect or now commission there on 2000 commission is outstanding commission is outstanding this will appear twice it will be added to commission in schedule number two schedule number two you can see here commission add outstanding commission 2000 so 2000 outstanding commission I have added to commission again this 2000 outstanding commission will be taken in schedule number 13 schedule number 13 current liability outstanding commission 2000 taken so every adjustment twice one in revenue account other in balance sheet next one is expenses of management outstanding 12,000 expenses of management outstanding 12,000 so twice it will come it will be added to management expense in schedule number three here schedule number three operating expense expenses of management 20,000 given in the trial balance add outstanding expenses 12,000 outstanding expense 12,000 is added here again this outstanding management expenses is a liability 13th schedule in 13th schedule outstanding expense of management 12,000 so you can see here 12,000 added and again 12,000 is taken in schedule number 13 or and prepaid 3,000 prepaid means paid in advance it will be deducted from management expenses the outstanding management expenses are added prepaid management expenses are deducted prepaid management expenses are deducted so one effect it is deducted 3000 then again this 3000 will be shown in schedule number 12 current assets so schedule number 12 advances prepaid prepaid expenses 3000 here 3000 we have deducted and 3000 we have taken in schedule number 12 over next provide 30000 for depreciation on building 30000 rupees we have to provide depreciation on building again this 30000 will have double effect first 30000 is an item of operating expenses in operating expenses we have taken depreciation 30000 one effect over in revenue account the other effect the 30000 will be taken will be deducted from building in schedule number 10 so schedule number 10 fixed assets building at cost 9 lakh in the trial balance it is given the building cost at the end of the year 9 lakh less accumulated depreciation the accumulated depreciation given in the trial balance is 1 lakh in trial balance accumulated depreciation 1 lakh and at the end of the year how much further depreciation provided 30,000 during the year depreciation provided 30,000 so 1 lakh plus 30,000 1 lakh 30,000 is the total accumulated depreciation deduct 7 lakh 70 this is the adjustment last premium payable under reinsurance 8,000 premium payable under reinsurance first of all it will be deducted from premium deducted from premium so premium earned reinsurance seeded 8,000 premium payable under reinsurance is called reinsurance seeded 8,000 deducted now this 8,000 again will be shown under 13th schedule current liability 13th schedule premium due to other insurers claims payable under reinsurance 8,000 so 8,000 double effect once in this premium we have deducted there it's a current liability that's all so i have explained you all the items given in the trial balance and also in the adjustment now formally i'll come to the solution revenue account safe life insurance company revenue account for the year ended 31st march rupees in thousands premium earned first before starting the problem first of all it is better to make the format because the format will not change on one page you write the complete heading then premium earned number one don't take the amount afterwards we'll take it leave one or two lines gap then income from investment interest dividend and rent gross already we have seen leave one or two lines gap then other incomes consideration for annuity is granted leave some gap then take the total like this if you draw the complete format it will be easier then second schedule Commission, third schedule operating expense, provision for taxation, benefits paid, surplus. After this balance sheet also, you complete, make the blank balance sheet. Then we'll take the amounts. Premium earned. 
first premium one. Premium received is given in the trial balance 2 lakh 10,000. To this you add further bonus utilized reduction of premium just now I told you. Then outstanding premium added, reinsurance premium deducted. So 2 lakh 34,000 have taken. Interest, dividend and rent gross, no schedule is there. Directly from the trial balance to 50,000. Other income, consideration for annuity is granted, no schedule. Directly we take that one, 90. Take the total A. 3,74,000 is the total income. Now commission 2. Commission paid. Add outstanding commission 2,000. Total 10,000 rupees commission. Operating expenses means expenses of management. Management expense paid. Add outstanding management expenses minus prepaid management expenses. Then depreciation. Total 59,000. So I have taken 59,000 operating expenses. Provision for taxation, no schedule. Whatever is given provision for taxation, directly will take it. Total B. Now C, this uh, benefits paid, fourth schedule. So fourth schedule benefits paid, claims by death, add outstanding death claims, minus claims covered under reinsurance. So outstanding claim will be added and claims covered under reinsurance will be deducted. Then claims by maturity, annuity is paid, surrender paid, bonus in cash, bonus in reduction of premium. I have explained you regarding bonus in reduction of premium just now. So total 1,80,000 is the total of fourth schedule. 1,80,000. Now take the total A, B, C. Now surplus A minus B minus C, 1,22,000 is the surplus. Excess of income over expenditure. Revenue account completed. Now balance sheet, fifth schedule. Share capital, schedule number five. Here you can see. Schedule number 5, share capital. The details are given 50 lakh shares of 100 each fully paid 5 lakh. Less preliminary expenses are deducted. So 4 lakh 99,000 share capital. Reserves and surplus 16 lakh 22,000. How we got it? Uh, reserves. Life insurance from beginning of the year 15 lakh. Add surplus 1 lakh 22,000. So 16 lakh 22,000. And schedule number 7, borrowings nil. No borrowings. So 6th schedule 16 lakh 22. 7th schedule borrowings nil. Total is 21 lakh 21,000. Half of the balance sheet completed, liability side completed. Now asset side, application, application of funds, investments, 8th schedule, you can see here. Schedule number 8, investment, government security, port trust debenture, 7 lakh 55,000. Here I have taken 7 lakh. Ninth schedule, loans, loans on government security, loans on company policy, 6 lakh over. Now fixed asset, fixed assets are building. So building at cost 9 lakh less accumulated depreciation 1 lakh 30,000. So 7 lakh 70,000. Tension. 11 schedule cash and bank balances we don't have. Nil. No cash in hand, no cash at bank. 12th schedule advances. Now here you should be careful. Prepaid expenses, premium outstanding, due from other insurers, claims covered under reinsurance 53,000. Similarly, 13th schedule contingent liability, outstanding expense of management, outstanding claim, outstanding commission due to other insurers, claims covered, payable under insurance, annuity is outstanding, total 57,000. So 53 minus 57,000 minus 4,000, you are getting minus 4,000, so bracket minus 4,000. Now you add up these three amounts, deduct for 21,21,000. You add up all the amounts. <coughs> Add up all the three amounts, minus 4,000, 21 lakh, 21,000 is the total of the balance sheet. That's it. So this is the end of problem number 11. This is the last problem on revenue account and balance sheet.